Um, I'm not expecting you to follow along with that. I just want you to see the process once, and so hopefully it drags a couple of thoughts on how you want to do it. And then we're going to basically compare and contrast our two printing styles for 3D solids. The view-based command, which we've talked about a little bit, and then we're going to go into a different process called soul view, soul draw, which are two commands that you use in conjunction with each other to create 2D line work off of 3D models. Tomorrow I am going to go back into the view base command. We have quite a bit of this command we haven't touched yet out of 14, such as how do we cut sections, um, what do we do with these, what, if we got an auxiliary plane, what do we do with that, and there's methods for the, all of that inside of that command. Keep in mind that as we come into these two commands, the view base or the two processes, the view base command or soul view, soul draw, they're two distinct methods. AutoCAD, this is the old method, still has pertinency, I think, in today's world, but it is the old method, but you'll see the differences it does. This is where AutoCAD's going, so it's my hope this is what you know coming out of here. Certainly, we need to be aware of this method, so we'll get into all of that. I, I went and put together a quick punch list for you on both of those so you'd have them all in one spot, and I copied that and gave it to you. Now, before we jump into it, um, schedule. I'm really kind of depicting that we will be doing a test review on Thursday, test on Friday on this course, although you will have time to draw on your final project into next week, as we'll have a couple days of architectural before we start drawing in it. So you'll be able to finish that up early next week. Wednesday, we have a guest speaker coming in here. We have Dan Cars coming down from Power Engineers. He's primarily doing a recruiting trip but he is going to come down and give you a quick overview of power and what he does there. Long time drafter for them. In fact, he's, I, I can't remember where he's from. I don't want to, I'll let him talk about his background. But he's been with power so long, I can't remember power without him. <laughs> um, it's a, a real nice guy to come in and quiz for a lot of questions. So I'll give you some information on that tomorrow because if we bring somebody into the room just like if we went there, we ought to be prepared for it. So we'll do a little bit of research on that. And then as far as the club goes, I, I would like to get Dan something for taking the effort to come down here and talk to you folks. I think I've got a t-shirt in my room that might fit him. If I don't, we'll have to look and maybe we can talk about the somebody from the club running over to the bookstore and we'll get them a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or something like that. We can do it out of my budget. It doesn't have to come out of your club budget. What kind of, is he like smaller? Bigger? He's probably the same size as I am. Oh, okay. Because so we have a medium left. Quadruple XL. We have a medium. <laughs> he, he'll, he'll be a double XL guy. Because that lady that came, she also wanted a shirt really bad, but we didn't know we had extras. So. Well, he's talking just about a regular no, CSI. No, I'm just um, talking about a regular CSI shirt. Oh, okay. Okay, so we do have that going on on Wednesday. And I, I, I have been contacted. Last week I had four different job interviews, or job posts come in. Um, did we get the job committee? We didn't get that committee formed, did we? No. Okay. Andy, would you please get with me this week and let's talk over the process of that? Yes. Okay and maybe we can get that instigated also. All right, any questions, thoughts on the schedule? All right, let's first off, let me just kind of do a quick demo for you. Um, Dave, would you mind hitting the lights, please? Hmm? Yeah. Okay, so, once you draw all your parts in the butterfly valve process, uh, let me just open a couple of those drawings real quick. So here's the body. Now nah, i got to close some windows here. Ooh. Here's the body. Then you have your elevation plate. Okay, keep in mind, this is, a lot of students draw this wrong the first time. Pay attention to how they have this dimensioned out and do it. You're going to use P lines probably and the mirror command to create that. But these are all solids. Keep, keep in mind, you're not doing 2D drawings, you're doing solids of these. Okay, so if I just flip that up, you can kind of see it is a solid. So you're going to draw all of these guys. So here's a retainer ring. And it doesn't really matter the layer per se, because you're going to use the view base to plot it, and that will control your line weight. Then you'll get your shaft. And so you're just going to produce all these. 
Now, what I would suggest is that since this thing's lying up on the main axis, and you might want to look at page 999, where on the front view, notice I'm looking right here on the front view on all of these objects. I set that because I knew I was going to be doing an assembly on it. If you don't choose this as your front view, you can certainly rotate all these things at a later date, but you eliminate all that step lining these up if you don't. I mean, if you do. Okay. So in essence, you're going to draw all these first. Okay. Now let's close these back down. And it doesn't matter where you leave them at as far as when you save them. So notice like on that last one, it wasn't lined up. Now, in a B sheet, because this plots really well on a B sheet, your scale is one to one. Okay. Set your view to how you want it okay, before you run the x -ray. So here I'm just going to come into any B sheet. I deleted my viewport or my copy of it out of here. And then I'm going to set this to my front view. Okay. Now you're going to want to use the command line and Cartesian coordinates when you insert this stuff. And it'll save you a whole bunch of moves if you do it. Now I'm just going to start x stuff in. So I type in xref, and that brings up my xref manager. Now from here, remember we've got insert a drawing. Okay, so I'm going to attach a drawing. And let's start with the body. Okay, so I'll just come in, grab it, tell it, hey, I want you to open. Okay, and it's going to give me my little insert box. I'm just going to ignore this, although if you did want to do one thing, I would say maybe at this point take off you can do this. I'm going to do it off the command line later. But right now, we usually specify on the screen where we're going to insert something like a block because then we use our snaps. We're going to insert all these at the exact same spot. And it will then, all we've got to do is one move to get everything lined up in an isometric mode. If you take this off and maybe type in 0 or 1, 1, 1, or just so it's constant throughout it. I'm going to leave it where I do it off the command line. So I'm just going to say OK. And then it comes in now on the command line saying, give me an insertion point. And I'm just going to type in 0, 0 and hit Enter. Now let me move this and do a zoom extents. And we should see it. So there it is. Now that's the last piece in there. So let me just do another one now. Okay, so now come back into it. And what's our next piece? Probably the shaft, probably, huh? So I'll do the shaft. Again, just hit enter now on the insertion point. Okay. Again, I'm just going to type 0, 0. Same point I put the body on, 0, 0. Okay. So it's now there. Ooh, why didn't that come in? <laughs> uh oh. Maybe something messed up when I did it. I must have hit a save or something. Okay. I might have to actually rotate that guy. But you'll kind of get the idea here. Do, do they have to be in the right view that you want them to extract into? It helps to say if you want continuity on it. So okay. you should. Okay. So this guy right here, I'll go ahead and just rotate it right now, but you can do it on the drawing itself. Okay. So let me put another one in here. Let's do the arm. And I want this to go. Boy, nothing's coming in. This thing's making a huge liar out of me all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's still there. There's my front view right there. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to get these three. I'm not sure why this one didn't come in right there. It should have came in right on the same spot. Okay. Now, I'm then going to take this and put it into a view. That's my front. I need the bottom view here. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is just kind of sit there and move these things back and forth. Okay. This is actually going to end up being on my right side view. And then I'll just do the move command. So let's see, I need this guy, this is the arm, this comes out this way. Do a move on my body, line it up right here. Now when I go ahead and set these things up in my view, I get, wow, something happened here. <laughs> the thing is, if you have I, I don't want to chase this down. I must have done something in the back side. But if you have all of them with your front view looking right here, and you save them and move them into a zero, zero location, then we insert them, it's all going to come in in one spot. 
then I can turn to the side view and then just move one of them a little further and a little further. So what are they saying? When you go in to get it, you have to have all your save in the front view to pull it, right? So if you saved it and you're in a set of back view or whatever, that's going to come in that way. Yes. Right? So mm -hmm. you have to have them all lined up? Yeah. Okay. And I, I did something to this file, so I, and I have it reloaded from my computer back there, but my back there is set up perfect. Um, I must have done something on this. Maybe they weren't all saved in front view. Now, when you get to it, here, this one was the original that I did. Okay. You can kind of see out of the front view, these were all at zero, zero right here. On this little spot that my cursor is hovering around right here. And then all I had to do was go to a right side view. Okay. And then I just grabbed one, moved it over. Grabbed the next one, moved it over. Grabbed the next one, moved it over. And got them lined up to where I had the view that I wanted which was this view. Yes, Becky? You're just mating parts, aren't you? What's that? You're just mating parts, pretty much? This drawing shows how to assemble, assemble. these different parts. Assembly. Okay. Apologize for that. Um, maybe I'll redo this tomorrow and I'll grab my one off of that machine. I don't want to take the time when we're sitting here in lecture to go ahead and reset all these up. Okay. If for some reason you didn't, just I'll just tell you right now, this is the process I would go through on that. Is, let me just go to open the arm drawing. Now if I want to get that, let's, let me switch this to the front view, okay, right there. And then I would just then do a move on this guy. And I know it's mating right here, right? Mm -hmm. So let me grab my base point as the center of this, and then use absolute coordinates to move it to zero comma zero. Okay. And I'll do it in sense. And go back to my front view. Okay. Now that's set up on that, right? Save the drawing. It's going to insert in perfectly just like this. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now certainly, if you don't like drawing with this UCS here, set them at 5 pi or 1010, wherever you want. Just so that central point right here, because this is common to every single point we're drawing. Okay. Just make it the same, and they'll all just x ref right in, and then all you gotta do is move the perpendicular view and move them. If you, I don't know, if you have a, 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 like an X layer, in the background where you've already drawn that central line where it perpendicularly goes through, then you can just attack right on that one? Is yeah, that you could. Work or is that well, that, that's really a construction layer. If I'm going to move this, move all your construction stuff with it and then turn it on. Okay. Yes? I think it's a question, but when we were doing the house, we x wrapped in, you know, the pieces to draw, but they wouldn't print. You didn't see them. Just your drawing did. So these are all X-Refs, how, how can we see, are we going to print these? No, we printed our X-Refs. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I thought they were all the ones we drew off. And every time I went to look at yeah, they wouldn't print. No, they'll print. Oh, they, they print? print. Yeah, they'll print just fine. Okay. Um, I, you might be, maybe, if they didn't print, you x ref them in on the viewports layer or something like that. Because remember, these are all stored on a layer. Okay, so if I've got the XREF layer current, right now they're all on the text layer. But if you've got viewports or depth points okay. current when you XREF these in, you're going to go to paper space and you're not going to see anything. Yes, ma'am. So will you go back to your other drawing that involves this really quick? The assembly drawing? Yeah, the assembly. Okay, so the nuts and the bolts, those don't go in at zero comma zero, right? No, they're inserted in at that, and then I moved them. Oh, and then you moved them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now if you do some of, like this guy right here, your little flap for the actual valve, here's the working part of it right here, uh -huh. this guy. Hey, that, you're going to have to line that up. But all those other parts will go just snap right in. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'm not sure what I did there, but 
Do you kind of get the idea? Okay, let's walk away from that. All right, what I'd like you to do is put together a quick solid that has an auxiliary plane on it. And I don't care what template you have or anything, so I'm just going to draw a quick key line and extrude it. And I want an auxiliary view on it. So let me do something like this. Does it matter how far we extrude it? No, nope, not a bit. I just tilted mine up on it so you can see it. Everybody got this done? All right, in essence, what we're going to do here is we're going to use a different printing procedure for this to show you how we can actually get this to 2D line work and we can edit our printing drawing without affecting the model itself. If you remember on ViewBase, and we talked about this last week, you have the ability of printing your model. But we made the comment, you know, we don't model everything. If you look at a building like this, I mean, do we model it all? Do we model the lights in the thing? No. Do we model the headers above those doors? No, we don't, because it's too time intensive. There is no payback on it. And so how do we then show that stuff? Generally, what we'll do is we'll put the model, and then in view base, you draw in paper space right over the top of it, right? All your line work that's 2D is done in paper space. Well, what if you don't want to do it in paper space? You don't know what the scale is going to be. We have another process that's going to allow us to project our model and then draw on it, but we're actually going to draw in model space. Now we have two commands that allow us to do this, and they're the sole view and sole draw commands. They work in conjunction with each other. So in generally you're going to be using both of these commands. Now the process I'm going to look at here is I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to add a hole that comes right down through here. And I decide I don't want to do it here in the model, but I want to come off my auxiliary plane and show it. And I'm just going to do it two-dimensionally on my 3D model. This is really the process to set you up so that you can print 
your third model, right? The third one, you were to do auxiliary views of these different parts, but how do you actually show parts of a model? In view base, you've got to show the whole thing. You can select in between different ones, but you can't edit an existing one. So that's the process we're going to come through. So what I'd like you to do at this point is set this to the UCS that's going to be the front. And we're going to call it this one right here, at least I am. So I'm going to set it to my front view. Now we're going to use viewports with this. And so what I'd highly recommend, viewports control, are controlled by visual styles. They carry into viewports. So if you're ever getting ready to print these, set it, your visual style, to 2D wireframe. So don't leave it on conceptual or realistic, or you will have some printing issues down the road. So I'm going to set to 2D wireframe on my visual style right here. If you have the VSM manager up, you can just double click that. So you want to set it into a wireframe mode. And by the way, um, we're going to follow the steps on the bottom of that handout I gave you. Now, I've just got the major steps in here. You might want to just real quickly add any notes to that as you need. Like I didn't put switch it to wireframe on your first step. I just said set it to your desired view. So it depends on what you want, whether you want a pictorial view or a multi-view. All right, let's now go to paper space. Delete any existing viewports that you have. Okay, so I've got a viewport in my B template here, or my A template, I'm gonna delete that. Now it doesn't matter if we really fit into your title block for this example, so don't worry if your object's too big and it starts going over. Okay, so we're sitting in paper space, no viewport, right? What we're now going to do is we're going to do the sole view command. Now this stands for solid view. What it's going to do is set up a view for us. We've got to give it names. It's going to set up how we're going to look at things. And it will also give us some layers that we can set line weights with. Just like, remember when we did view base, we had to go into the layer properties and I showed you MD hidden, MD um, visible, and you had to set those properties. We're going to have the same thing here. So first we want to set up the view. That's why in the current, in model space, I said set this to your front view. It just goes a little quicker. All right, let's type the command. So the sole view for solid view is the first command we're going to type. Uh, I'll just write it up here. It's sole view. Now, you'll get some kind of weird results. Trust your clicks here. So I'm going to go and stay patient if we please don't try to get ahead. So, sole view. You just hit enter. If you start to fall behind, you need to stop me immediately and I'll get you caught up. Okay, has everybody got sole view typed in? <coughs> now, look down on the command line. And it's got some options for setting up your view. You got UCS, ortho, auxiliary, or section. We're going to set it up due to a UCS because we know we're already sitting on our front view. So we're going to go to the current coordinate system. You can do all these other views on here though. So <laughs> hit U and enter. And then it says, hey, are you dealing with a UCS, a named one, or are you dealing with the world coordinate system? Notice that current is the default value. That's why we set it to the front. Just hit enter here. It wants to know a scale. This would be your plot scale factor. Keep in mind, we're going to use viewports on this, and they're totally scalable later, if you wish. Okay. So you don't have to set this here. But if I was doing a scale of 1 to 2, I would type in 0.5 for that because I, that's my plot scale factor, right? You don't put it in your DSF, you put it in your PSF if you're going to use this option. 
We're just going to leave it at 1. So go ahead and hit enter. That's the default value. Now it wants to know where the center of the view is. Now as a general rule, I do not put these in a title block right off the bat, just because I can move them all later. Okay? And I'll organize my drawing later. So just get out to a little bit of white space somewhere and click, left click, any point. So I'm just going to click a point. Just one point. And you should see your model appear. Now, it stays in this view center. Okay. Just in case I click the bad points, I can click another one, left click, and it's just going to move it around. Okay. But we're not going to really worry about it. Did everybody get their model to show up? Okay. So I'm just still in that view center clicking left, left button. Take that off. Now jump to paper. Soul view. 